This Kosho vs Jack Hanma fight feels like it's been going on forever. I mean, we've literally been in this fight for roughly two months. These manga breaks are killing me. But before I start today's video, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite Baki Rahan moment is so far. For me personally, it has to be when Jack Hanma met up with his father Yujiro Hanma for the first time in forever. And if you're interested with interacting with me, my community, showing off your art, or even maybe self-promoting, then you can join the Discord that can be found in the description box below and if you enjoyed today's video then you can leave a like and subscribe it's completely free on your end and helps me out way more than you may think and in the first panel we see kosho showing off a very serious face and chapter 15 is actually titled by back which obviously hints towards kosho you know fighting back that didn't exactly matter because jack hama then once again just ripped a giant chunk out of kosho's arm and moving on from Kosho's car toy, the upper part of Kosho's arm was just oozing blood. Jack Hanma has now bitten off a piece from the base of Kosho's upper arms, and everyone from Mr. Tokugawa to Baki, they knew Kosho was cooked. And we then got a little bit of commentary from Dapo and Katsumi, with Dapo saying, that's another big gun. And Katsumi saying how Jack Hanma getting both arteries like that is beyond fatal for Kosho. And this is not something that you would consider in a fist fight, but however, in a knife fight, the bases of the four limbs are critical points to be hit on. And this is because each of these four limbs has a very large and thick vein. Sound familiar? Nigga, you get. But all jokes aside, this is actually really bad for Kosho. And if any of these four critical points were to be hit, they would all be fatal for the person taking the damage. Jack Hanma then wiped his eyes and looked into the sky with an intense silence in the arena for the second that they had stopped fighting. Mr. Tokugawa was on the edge of his seat as Kosho and Jack were both standing next to each other. And then it happened. Kosho eventually succumbed to his giant wound and fell. Shinogi Kosho has officially fallen and collapsed. Everyone in the crowd was amped up by this and they were all probably wondering if Kosho would get back up. But the referee then raised his hand and now the match was finally over. They then also showed Baki watching intensely as his brother Jack Hanma won his fight. Which may be another hint towards Jack Hanma getting his long awaited rematch against his brother. Jack Hanma has officially won his match against Kosho. That's another win for the giant himself, Jack Hanma. The champion of slashing karate, Kosho, has officially stopped moving. The medics were quick to rush to the scene, bringing in a stretcher and some medical equipment. Six medics then put Kosho onto the stretcher while screaming to the crowd, he is in need of emergency medical treatment. He's already lost an insane amount of blood. Mr. Tokugawa then walked up to Jack Hanma, saying that Goto of yours is really something. And Jack Hanma had this dazed and out of the loop kind of stare on his face. Then we learn this victory for Jack Hanma was not without any cost. Kosho had blinded Jack Hanma. And then Kosho had woken up on the stretcher and told Jack Hanma, Mr. Jack, the cords that made you blind should reconnect soon. In about a week, you will be able to see again. With Jack Hanma being blind, these next few chapters are gonna be crazy. I wonder what the writer has in store for us. Kosho then put his hand out towards Jack Hanma and began holding Jack's hand. Kosho had said, Goto, which left Jack confused for a second. But Kosho then followed up saying, Goto is the best in all of martial arts history. There are truly none greater than Goto. And Jack Hanma was sitting there seemingly confused on how to react to Kosho saying this. And he had stayed silent, but Kosho said, Hey Jack, let me tell you something. Jack was like, what? But Kosho had insisted, saying, Come closer, come closer. Jack then put his ear up to Kosho's mouth in order to hear him, but I guess Kosho was feeling a little hungry today. So he bit Jack's ear, which is actually what Jack did to Pickle during their fight. This made Jack move away from Kosho, and he actually screamed. And Kosho was left unable to move because of his injuries, so biting Jack is the only thing he could actually do. The crowd was confused. They were like, what? Kosho bit Jack? Isn't this supposed to be the other way around? Jack was seemingly in disbelief after being bitten on the ear by Kosho, and Kosho had told Jack he just had to return the favor for Jack biting him all those times. 
and Jack was feeling disrespected by this, as he should. That was very disrespectful, I can't even lie. Coach Sherwood said, All I did was give you a little nibble. No need to get worked up, man. Jack Hanma still couldn't see, and Kosho said, How shameful this is. But even so, this darkness is so bright, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I have no clue what that means. Kosho's out here getting spiritual lung. I swear, if Kosho mentions some star signs or some shit in the next chapter, I'm gonna lose my mind. And Baki Rahin will also be on yet another week-long break, and it will be resuming on March 14th. And this may sound stupid and privileged, but am I the only one getting mad that there's so many breaks in this manga? I mean, I completely get it. Please give your employees breaks. But every other week waiting two weeks for like a 13 page chapter is kind of crazy. But I just wanted to state my opinion on that. Let me stop yapping real quick. And with Jack Hama being blinded for a week in the Bakiverse, something crazy is probably about to happen. And this brings up the question, where's Pickle? He was last seen just roaming about Japan, and in my personal opinion, I think he's gonna pop up soon. And Jack may actually win this fight this time, I mean he's been training like crazy and going against really strong opponents. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Pickles is only getting more outdated by the second. And another really good fight that may happen is Hanayama vs Jack. And obviously Jack Hanma would probably win, but with Hanayama's durability, I think it would be a pretty entertaining fight to see. And the both of them just go head first when they're fighting. And that would probably lead to some pretty crazy manga panels. But anyway, once again, let me know your favorite moment of Baki Rahin so far in the comment section below. And if you would like to interact with me, my community, show off your art, drop some memes, or maybe even self-promote, then you can join the Discord that can be found in the description box below. And if you enjoyed today's video and would like to support me, then you can leave a like and subscribe. It's completely free on your end and helps me out way more than you may think. But that's gonna be all for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!